Well, it sure looks like that these giant megalithic constructions that are all over the earth were here pre-Younger Dryas, which means it seems like we were all in ruins and kind of making do with whatever we could eat. And then we have this period where prior to Younger Dryas, we have it in our minds where we're just getting over it ourselves right now, where we're thinking, well, that's when this society existed, this global giant pyramid society. Everything was going on around the world. It was all connected. And I think that when I mentioned such a long time ago, and I've spoke about it since, is that city off the coast of Cuba is 2,300 feet underwater that the the husband and wife uh, team that was looking for gold from Spanish galleons was given permission. It's been like 16 years now, and we've heard nothing about it. There's a photo everyone can go look at about this pyramid city off the coast of Cuba. Well, it's 2,300 feet deep, and it only could have been above water at least 50,000 years ago, there has been work done that ties into our ancient megalithic past that was done starting with Burr, a researcher in the 1940s who started photographing. Um, he used unsprouted seeds to plants and he used salamanders. And what he found was is that there was a magnetic energy pattern and whether it was an unfertilized egg or whether it was an unsprouted seed, so a seed before it's been given water and to grow, whether aeroponically or in, or in terra preta or any soil, what was really cool is that it looked like the fully grown plant. And so did the salamander, that the magnetic field within this unfertilized egg, and they did not expect to see that. What if we just have to unpack all the stored genomes. And when you think you were Cleopatra a thousand years ago, maybe you're just tapping into that collective consciousness and the collective human. They figured out in 2008, I think I mentioned it a while ago, but forgive me if I did, but it's a uh, Harvard figures out in 2008, how to store a 55,000 word book on, on human RNA. Then fast forward, they can, they can now store over a terabyte of info on a gram of DNA. Russia's defense minister has announced the plan for the DNA cloning of ancient Siberian warriors and their horses. <laughs> 3,000 years. I don't know if it's, uh, is it Scythian or Scavian? Which is it? I think it's Scythian, but I'm, I'm not Scythian? sure. Scythian? Evolution as we know it may be true, but it could be 2 billion or 3 billion years ago. I mean, there's paleoanthropological evidence of actual anatomically correct humans, uh, well, 5 million years old. 20 million years old, 60 million years old. And it's not just because Michael Cremo wants it to be true for the um, uh, Hindu Vedas, but the reality is although the Hindu Vedas talk about the humans and the gods extending much further back than, you know, Christian stories, the reality is paleoanthropology from the 1800s on started locating and finding anatomically correct human bits and layers of earth that were not intrusive burials. And oops, that's a problem. But then through sedimentary granular remains, they identified and they've started to identify the flora and fauna, which ties us into this very important article, which also gets us back to cloning, which hopefully gets everyone to wake up. Neanderthal nuclear DNA retrieved from sediments helps unlock ancient human history, which I know it's been up. And yeah, nothing like some uh, Max Planck, right? And these anthropologists, archaeologists said, hey, can you date the site? And it's very famous now. Weatlaco was dated by Virginia Steen McIntyre and her team to be 275,000 years wow, old. Wow, wow. Where, where, where's this one? Northern Mexico okay. in Huayatlaco wow. and northern central Mexico. And not only is it for sure a anatomically correct, it's a human site. They are not Neanderthals. They were not Denise of N, um, which I have a, 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 another uh, another conversation on that when we come around to it. But what, what we're talking about, though, is the archaeologists saying to her and her team, no, you don't understand we might be willing to accept that humans may have been in America to 36,000 years. You, you, you understand that we have a playbook and this is oh my in God. short part of the issue, which is how and why, what disaster happened that Denise Yvan, Neanderthal and humans and a mystery 14% genome all mixed. And, and again, standard academia is saying 50 ish thousand years ago. So they're not willing to say older, but they're also not willing to say that it, 
you know, they're just not saying it couldn't be. 